Okay. Oh, nah. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. We're going straight to the video, y'all. And we are at Odessa, Minneapolis, man. So we're in Minnesota right now. And I knew I said, I know I said I was going to wait a while, y'all, before we did these auction walk around videos again. But we got a nice day out here today. So let's get it. So first car up is going to be a 2009 Chevy Malibu, y'all. And it looks like it has 152,000 miles. So let's look at the car, see if we see any flaws and before we start driving it. Tires are okay, not the best. Got a little rust down here. Interior is cool. Not bad. Check these rear tires, see how they are. Rear tires are better. All right. Let's see what these electronics look like. Oh, cut that down. All right, looks like it's a check engine light in this. Got a little front clunk. That rear left window don't go down, or oh, does it? Yep, it was stuck. Let's see if that sunroof works. All right, sunroof works. Do got that check engine light. Let me read that, see what that does real quick. Cam shaft position sensor. Timing over. Hmm. That could mean two things. It needs a timing chain or it needs something simple. I don't know. We're gonna drive it anyway. See how it feels. Okay, y'all, let's see what she do. pretty good i bet you this got a v6 in her it feel like a v6 brakes is a little bit mushy uh i don't know how about that training let's see might be tripping it's not slipping or nothing it's just kind of She seem to be doing okay. Hey, if you guys been with me since the beginning, man, you see I'm, I'm driving a different route today. Yo, I'm taking for a longer ride. I think this one is cool. I just got a pulse. I got a little pulsation. Let me show you all this real quick. I'm gonna 
y'all can't really see it, but I just got some pulsation in the steering wheel and in my foot. So outside of that, that training's cool and then that, that cold. So um, that's a gamble, man. Me taking this car with that cold in there. Like I said, it could be a timing chain or it could just be as simple as a sensor. So um, I'll put it on my list, but not like, you know, top of the list. So let's move on to the next one. Let's see what we can find. Okay, y'all, let's see if we can find some more cars that I would love to flip. They got a caddy over here. It says it needs a jump. They don't even have 143,000 miles. Oh, might not need a jump. Let me see. Oh. All right, start it up. No lights on. Let's see if this thing is all wheel driver. What? Got a screw in the back there. Looks like it's a CTS4, so it's all wheel drive. Let's see if there's any more damage. Interior. So this is the base model because it ain't no, it's what well, it seems like it because it ain't no roof and the dash is normal. But I think that's worth a test drive, y'all. Let's see what that do. Had to put a little bit of money into it. They got a Buick Rendezvous over there. We should probably, I'm going to let this one run. Make sure this joint don't overheat on us. Man, you know what, man? If this thing ain't got, if this thing got a 3,400 motor in here, I'm not messing with it. I'm going to tell you that right now. Before I even waste my time, y'all. Oh, it's got a 35 in this one. Might be worth, oh, look, Kia Optima. Maybe they might have a little bit of some things out here. I bet you this thing need a jump, man. Knew it. I don't got my jump packs today, y'all. Let me see if this thing does. Leave this one right. Kia Optima. This one is a 06, and I don't see the miles on there. Got leather interior. It has a sunroof, y'all. Oh, there you go. 162,000 miles. Start this joint up. All right, that's cool. Let that defrost while we go take that other car on the drive. See what we can find. And that's just, this is one row, y'all. As y'all can see, to everybody that's new, we got a whole plethora of cars, y'all. So, trying to get in and out. Action. Let's see what she do. I hear a little rear clunk in the back, y'all. Might just be some struts. Okay. Let's see how she drives. I hear a wheel bearing. Brakes are good. But hold on, y'all. I just heard a little bit of something from that engine. Oh, yeah. Try one more time. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. It's not tapping, but it sounds like timing. I might be tripping. Maybe not. All right. We're going to... I'm going to drive this around around the highway real quick. Then we're going to get back. And then I'm going to put my foot on the gas and see if I can hear hear that so I can take a closer look. You don't want to buy nothing that need a timing chain. That's the big thing. If you can hear the timing chain, then more than likely you need a timing chain. You know, that's a rule of thumb, y'all. Well, let's see how she drives all the way around. Hey, if you're still here, man, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, y'all. The auction walk around videos will continue as long as the weather permits it, y'all. So, doing my best. She shifts great, though, man. Yeah. Got a smooth, this is a smooth ride, though. I 
I will buy a car though if it needs a timing change. As long as I get it at a good deal and I know that um, I'll make money on it, I will put that timing chain in it. But I was looking at the roof, y'all. It's coming down a little bit, but that ain't nothing. Yep, we're good, man. I'm gonna see y'all at inside the auction. Okay, y'all, we back here. Gonna hit this gas and see what we can hear. Okay, I guess I was tripping. So it's not, I don't hear the timing chain. So we're straight, on to the next. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is gonna be this Kia Optima, y'all. Get the snow off of here real quick. All right, let's drive. Let's see what she doing. Check engine light on on this one too. So I guess we should probably see what that's all about. Make sure ain't no trainee codes in there or nothing crazy. There goes the reader. codes in there system two lean bank fuel sensor cylinder one misfire uh, let's go to the pending oh, come on all right pending no pending so let me make sure I checked all the places they telling me I can all right we good so I'm not tripping about that y'all that's just um, some dummy codes is what I like to call them easy fixes if I want to fix it. So let's see how she roll. I almost forgot, y'all. Gotta check these windows and stuff, man. Okay, this window seems like it's tripping. It is, it's off track. So that's something we gotta write down. That one worked. That one's good. Let's check the sunroof out. All right, it's got an aftermarket CD player. So that's cool. That heat most definitely was working. So we straight there, let's see how she ride. See what she do, y'all. By the way, I'm the only person at the auction right now who's a dealer, so I got <laughs> the number one badge. Uh, somebody just popped in. Somebody just got here. All right, let's see how she ride. Okay. Need some front brakes and rotors, man. I can feel the pulsating. So front brakes and rotors and then that window so far. So of course I'm gonna take the long route, man. We gotta make sure that we doing our due diligence with these cars. I think she is good y'all so i'm gonna move on to the next one let's get it okay y'all so these three cars right here they all need jumps and i don't have my jump pack so i'm gonna have to do those at the end because i'm gonna have to use their old big old things that they got it's got 95,000 miles on this one y'all it's taurus who's selling it though ryan shepherd oh that dude he always wants a grip of money for his car so let's not waste our time let's get to the Stuff we can probably get deals on. That's some newer cars there. Oh, they really don't have anything out over here, y'all. They had his Escalade last week. Let's see how many miles is on here. This is B Lane. It's got 254 on there. Oh, uh, MFK. Nah, I don't think. Let me just check. See if she starts up. She started up. Check engine lighter. I'm gonna let this one run a little bit, y'all. See what else they got. 
this when y'all become dealers y'all you kind of learn what people do this came from Mannheim and they brought it straight here so it might be an issue this is smaller dealers now you kind of want to be a little bit cautious around here y'all see who's selling this one Luther selling this it's got 102,000 miles that's 12 though I need cheap cars I'm trying to find cars that are 3,000 or less that's my goal so let's see Acura TSX out here this thing looking clean how many miles Awesome manual. Can't do her. HHR right here. It's got 175 on it. Leather interior. Let's see what she does. Start her up. Check engine light on. Let me check that real quick, y'all. So I got a timing code in here um i'm not familiar with the hhr engine so actually let me pop the hood see what motor is in here let's see what it's, obviously it's got to be a gm motor because we in a chevy so it's got that ecotech motor in there which i don't know if this ecotech motor is the same motor they put in the malibus or not but Kind of the same, uh, get my cold reader. Kind of the same uh, deal as those Malibus. So let me see if I can hear a timing chain or something. I don't hear anything. Obviously that, that exhaust is a little loud. Um, I'm gonna drive it, but I'm gonna consult with my mechanic first before I decide if I wanna try to go for it tomorrow. So I'm gonna see what it do. If it drives good, I'm gonna basically run that question to him. Hey, is this the same motor as the Malibus? If it is, then it might be worth the risk if we get a good price on it. It's got a lot of clunking going on. Putting that right back, man. Put that right back. Here's some more cars, y'all. It's another Malibu. This one's got 127 on it. Uh, I'm gonna be all right on this one, y'all. Low miles means it's gonna go high. Here's an older Malibu. It's a 07, 167 on it. This is more my stilo. It's dirty, just how I like it. <laughs> now you get it clean, man. Clean it, and then uh, you be straight. People don't like detailing their cars, so Let's see what you do. Cut this down a little bit. All right. Let's check this out. Windows are working, both sides. Let's see if that radio come on. Yep, we good. No service soon lights. Got some pet hair in there, so yeah, it's most definitely gonna need a detail. But let's put her on the road, let's see what she do, y'all. See what we got. Shifting good. Oh, hold on, y'all. I almost just ended my life. I think I I think this hood is open. Rookie mistake, man. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, we don't want those problems. Tell you that right now. Oh man. All right, let's get back to it. So far, man, it seems good, man. The suspension seems to be straight. Obviously, we're gonna have to get this thing up to 60, 65, something like that. Let's see what she do. Right 
brakes are good. I think we got a winner, y'all. This might be one of the ones you just buy and then you just get the oil changed and then you sell that joint. Oh, we gotta turn around, y'all. They got the railroad tracks. Let's get her up to 60 this time. Putting her on the list most definitely. Okay, we're gonna keep it pushing, y'all. See what we can find. They got a 06 Ford Explorer right here. This thing got 102 on it, so that's gonna go high. They got the Outback 132 lower miles for me, y'all. I ain't rocking with those ever again in my life. <laughs> oh man, what else is in here? We got the Equinox. This is a little bit scary, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. You got to know what you're looking for on these ones, man. The motors and the trainees be going bad. Start her up. Let her warm up. See what she do. See what she sound like. Start her right out, though. Let's cut that off. Sound good. I'm going to let her warm up, y'all. Make sure she don't overheat. And then I will be test driving it. Got a cobalt over here. This one's got 118 two door though. It's fine, but let's see. Start her up. Cut that off. Seems to be all right. Tires are okay. It's a nice clean interior. I think that's cool, yo. So let's throw her on the road, see what she do. Okay, moment of truth, y'all. Let's see what she do. My phone ringing, they're gonna have to wait. is tight y'all still has all this power I'm up to 70 now we're I think this is good man yeah this is a really good cobalt I haven't driven a nice cobalt in a while Boom, another one added to the list. Let's get it. It's a 2010 Hyundai Santa Fe, man. It's got like 190 on it. And it's pretty dang clean. It's all wheel drive. Interior's cool. Got those WeatherTech mats. Almost forgot I was filming today, y'all. <laughs> all wheel drive. Let me open this up. So. It's a five passenger joint. Let's drive it. This is actually gonna be my first time driving this year. I usually get those like 04s and stuff. So let's see what she do, y'all. Okay. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Trainee bad, y'all. I felt that. It's 
a no go. Bring that joint right back. On to the next one. Equinox time, y'all. Let's see. She been running for a while. Uh, I can smell the motor burning, man. So glad I didn't mess with it. Yeah. So no go on that either. Move on to the next one, y'all. Let's see. I just saw they had brought some in. Let's see. Not messing with no Mazdas right now. I'm gonna go mess with that uh, Diamante over here. Squeeze the BC. They got some kind of newer cars right here, y'all. Oh, this got the V6 in it too. How many miles? Oh, 147. Nice clean interior. Start her up. Start it right up. See if that radio work. Weekend All right, radio works. Check engine lights on. Let's do a walk around real quick. Tires is bald in the back. Yep, gas cap missing. Got some hail damage on this joint. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see the front tire. Oh, it's gonna need tires all around. So that's like, that's some money right there. Oh, that's broken. Windows work. I'm gonna check the check engine light when I get back. I bet you it's an EVAP code. That's what they normally are in these cars. good and everything but them tires you can feel that for sure so I really don't want to drive too far because it's already on E let's see Yeah, this is going to be one of them kind of iffy ones. If I don't get it for like the dirt, dirt, I ain't grabbing it. But I'll put it on the little watch list and see what happens. But um, yeah, man, it's a little cold, man. My hands are starting to freeze and this camera is uh, starting to go dead, man. So I am going to see you guys on the next video. Make sure you are staying tuned with all the vlogs, man. The vlogs are coming up at least four times a week, y'all. And I'm trying to keep it consistent for you. Um, so I just did this just because I know I had a couple guys asking for some dealer auction walk around videos. So I just wanted to bring that to y'all, man, um, and do the best I could in this cold. But I gotta, we gotta wait, man, to that that uh, snow break, man, and then we'll be straight. But um, I will see you guys on the next video. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me, supporting with me, and uh, giving me all these positive vibes. I will see you soon. Peace.